Pass to Russell. Back to Walker. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists tonight. And Candace, we've seen a lot of rules changed in basketball recently. What do you think's made the most difference? I think the biggest difference, especially within the NBA and the WNBA, is the defensive three seconds. You know, and it really speeds up the game. It's important to be able to, um, you know, continue to stretch the defense. And you can't set your big in the lane. They have to come out. So I think that's made the biggest change in what we're seeing the game being played as today. Russell, that's good. Russell's got six. You know, to me, it's huge when D'Angelo gets to the glass. This guy has the ability to use his athleticism to his advantage. Here's Prince. The elites are defending. Clark, the pass to Tatum. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Outside Lamb. Pass to Russell. Here's Walker. Over Williams. And that one comes up a bit short. Here's Prince. Clark right side to the paint. The kick to Tatum. Shot clock at five. From behind the arc. Another miss. He's one for four from the field. Shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Two minutes remaining. In the first. Healy to Two the minutes. pass to Russell. Steps back and fires. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Great contest down low. Allowing no easy hoops is a winning approach. Out to the wing. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley oop up top. Yes. Hammer it home. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Here's Walker. Pass to Russell. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Give him eight points now. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Now Tatum. Bam, with some nice D. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now here's Pirtle. Down low. Here's Russell. And that misses. That would have put him up. Shooting the rock around 41% during the first quarter. Here's Prince. Here's Clark. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Clark's gone two of three from the floor. Here's Russell. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Russell's got ten. Oh, man, how good is he at turning on the Jets and getting to that next level? D'Angelo Russell, fearless, driving on the interior. Here's Prince. Here's Clark. Pirtle grabs a miss. Williams against Walker. Pass to Russell. Six to shoot. Back to Walker. Fires the three. The shot won't fall. There's the horn, and it's a close game at the end of one. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. even matchup after this first quarter of play. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? 
It's all about the strong inside-out game in the first period. It really helped them get some clean looks down low. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. And with the new CBA, the WNBA reducing free agency restrictions for players. Candace, what effect do you see that having? Well, this is going to empower players to be able to, to go and, and play for organizations they want to play for. Um, it's very important to understand that this is a job. This is exciting. And, you know, it is important to be um, a part of an organization that you want to. And so I think that this will just continue to empower players. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a little buzz around players going from one team to the next in the offseason. They've got Kimball Walker. Jeremy Lamb is out there with Nemanja Bielica. Then there's Zach Levine. And it's Pirtle in at the five spot. Brandon Clark out there with Torian Prince. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Christopher in at the three. Now here's Walker. Pass to Pirtle. Walker against McCollum. Walker's shot is off. Shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Fires from deep. Christopher misses. Shooting about 41%. Levine with it. And Levine throws it down. An incredible athlete. I like when Levine elects to finish with power at the basket. Up top, Rozier. Lamb covering. Rozier can't get it to go. Got two of three shots to go in the second. Lamb on the take. An easy two on the layup. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. And the dunk oh, to finish yeah, it off. A oh, beauty. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. Levine against Rozier. It's blocked. And he recovers it. Bielita finds Walker. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. Walker's got his second basket of the night. He has no answer defensively inside. It's so wonderful to see the growth of the WNBA engaging new fans and sponsors. Candace, how does the league continue that ascent, you think? I think the WNBA has to continue to do things different. Um, we are a different game than the NBA. And we can't always use the NBA's um, blueprint as ours. So I think we need to continue to push that and, um, you know, open up more doors for ourselves. Point. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Walker finds Levine. And Levine throws it down. That's just too easy. Kemba, the innate sense to find the open player. Well done. Gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Now here's McCollum. Over Tucker. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Porter against McCollum. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Walker against McCollum. Walker pulls down the board. Got an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. 
second chance shot. Here's Sabonis. He's on target from eight feet out. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Shooting at a 43% clip during the second. McCullum outside. Pass to Rozier. Bagley with it. He's against Tucker. And he's in the books. Marvin now one for two. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Walker against McCullum. The steal! Here's Christopher. Pass to McCullum. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Walker against McCullum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Daniel Gafford picks one up. There's a level of aggressiveness and assertiveness from Kemba Walker right now. He's putting the defender in a bind. Nothing you can do but foul him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Walker. It seems to me Kemba Walker has always been a natural born leader, and there's something about his personality that allows him to fit in seamlessly wherever he goes, whatever circumstance he finds himself in. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Bagley, and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Tucker. At the line, and for the away team, Marvin Bagley. Two shots. And he makes a first. Both good from the line that time. Gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Rogier against Levine. Walker passes to Levine. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got a rebound, number five here tonight. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Here's Rozier. He can't hit that time. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Left side, Walker. Back to Levine. Takes a three. They get the rebound. Shots good by Sabonis. Sabonis has got four points now in the quarter. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second-chance opportunities. Outside Tatum. Rozier with it. He's against Tucker. They get it back. Rozier gets the bucket. Rozier's got eight points. This is what Terry Rozier gives you. Out of the point guard position, the willingness to rebound the position. That's part of his appeal. Now here's Walker. He's got five. Sabonis finds Levine. Tries to break his ice. And Rozier pulls it down. Gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. McCullum goes up and plays it in. Nice and easy. Assisted. He has seven. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Up top, Walker. McCullum defends. Walker's shot is off. And this is a pretty even game right now in Toronto. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Russell's checked in for Walker. Marvin Bagley. One point.
plus the penalty. Two shots. No good for Bagley. But well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. It's scooped up. Shot's good by Sabonis. Sabonis has got six points in the quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Visitors with the ball. They trail by one. Bagley passes to Tatum. Levine against McCullum. Driving inside. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. His shooting has been fantastic. And this team has leaned on him. Here's Russell. And then Russell with the dunk. So a point guard who can flush it with authority. D'Angelo Russell takes advantage. McCullum, the pass to Bagley. Now Williams. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Six on the shot clock. And it's Tatum missing. Tatum's gone one for six shooting from the field. Porter against Bagley. Porter in the post. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy bats. For your home team, Michael Porter. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Porter hits them both. Shooting about 47%. A nice number. Shot is up. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two Porter minutes. pulls it in. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. A minute 50 left in the second period. Prince grabs the miss. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, for a player with personal size, that type of play he needs to make. Get inside, draw contact, get to the line, be physical. Love it. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Bielitsa has checked in for Demona Sabonis.
So he comes up empty at the line. Shooting 53% here in the second quarter. Here's McCollum. Here's Prince. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. One of the hardest things to deal with with Torian Prince is trying to match his energy. This guy goes all out every time. Torian Prince at the line for two. down the first one getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling no good on the second free throw what we know about Torian Prince is he's a terrific competitor who knows he's going to lay it all out on the floor every night. For coaches, that is such an invaluable trait. Showing off the dribble moves, able to create for himself. I love it. Well, Candace, so happy you could be with us tonight. Thanks, as always, for your insights. Thanks so much, Brian. This is great. I'm looking forward to the next one. Now here's Clark. Six points for him. McCullum. Lamb with some nice D. Shooting the rock well in the second quarter. 55% for the floor. The shot by Russell, no good. Shooting at 45% of the game so far. Here's McCollum. And that basket makes it 5 for 10. Steady production so far. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Here's Russell. Pass to Pirtle. Outside for Lamb. Back to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Williams. They get it again. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to go. Pirtle's gone. One for three from the field here. Tatum passes to Clark. McCullum against Lamb. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Active defense from Jakob Pirtle. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Up two. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, give us your tip. Love to see a team grind for those offensive boards. They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions into points. It's got to be demoralizing for the defense at this point. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, their bench production has been a major factor. The guys have been ready to go when the numbers go. It makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. got second half action for you and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession you know D'Angelo Russell has been exceptional here guys they've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense and that's how he likes it and one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime but he has the ability to answer right back and we're halfway through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one P.J. Tucker is out there with Michael Porter. Then there's Zach Levine. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Sabonis in at the center position. That's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. Back to Porter. Gafford against Sabonis. Over Gafford. 
And the shot falls short that time. Shooting pretty well at 45%. It's hard to think about DeMontis Sabonis without thinking about his father. Arvidas Sabonis was one of the first great Lithuanian players in the NBA. The game now all tied up. McCollum. McCollum's got 13. And oftentimes, you just assume McCollum's J is going in. He's this good of a shooter. It's incredible. Looking to get it going. Here's Sabonis. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Porter. Back to Levine. Three-pointer. Here's Sabonis. Outside for Porter. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Clark. Bagley's checked in for Clark. Checking in for the away team. Marvin Bagley. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. On defense, the visiting team. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. And blocked! That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Rozier. Back to McCollum. Shoots over Sabonis. McCollum's shot is off. Shooting just 37% so far in this one. Here's Levine. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. There's McCollum with the three. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got five rebounds tonight. Russell finds Levine. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got four assists in the game. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. Tatum gets the bucket. Oh, the defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Tatum's gone one of two from beyond the arc. Russell against McCollum. Russell to pass to Sabonis. From deep. Here's Tucker. Lays it up and banks it in. Tucker's got his second bucket on the night. Oh, if you don't put a body on Tucker, he will find a way to burn you on the offensive glass. McCullum, the pass to Tatum. Shoots over Sabonis. And that one hits the back iron. Tatum's gone just two of eight from the field. Here's Levine. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Levine's got 12. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Rozier with it. Give him eight points now. For three, McCullum. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's seven of 15 now. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. McCollum's gotten two of his three shots to fall time from out, beyond the arc. Team. One thing you can give Terry Rozier credit for Sorry. are those fast hands. You must keep the ball locked up when he's around because he's always hunting for his next deal. And the Lava section gets free T-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest.
Walker. He's checked in for Michael Porter. On defense, the visiting team. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Tucker inside. Bagley's on him. It's tipped. And they get it back. Here's Sabonis. He's off on that one. Nice D from Gafford. Gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Here's Christopher. Good work defensively by Russell. Shooting just 37% so far in this one. Driving in. And there's the rejection. Pass to Tatum. It's rebounded by Sabonis. In transition! Here's Levine, plenty of space. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Levine's got 14 points for the game. Well, these shots to me are about confidence. And Levine feeling very comfortable on the catch and shoot. Rozier, the pass to Tatum. Outside for Rozier. Pass to Bagley. Clock at six. Count it. Mom. Give him eight. Here's Russell. 14 points for him. And he converts the layup. So creative with the basketball in his hands. You can see D'Angelo Russell's understanding improving over time. That's nice. Rogier, the pass to Gafford. And the shot's good. Gafford's got his first two points of the night. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Now here's Russell. The D's right on him. Christopher with a rebound. Gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Tatum, good. Jason well, Tatum. off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Levine against Tatum. And Daniel oh, Gafford foul. picks up the foul. Daniel Gafford. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. Checking in for the away team. against Walker. Soft touch off the glass. Walker's got seven points. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time. But it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> now here's Levine. 14 points for him. That shot missing. Gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Pass to Williams. Back to Prince. Power down after the assist led him to the lane. Well, fast off his feet and up at the rim in a hurry. Torian Prince with an easy one. Levine attacking. Oh, and the jam by Levine. Body control, flair for the dramatic Levine in style. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Clark has checked in for Bagley. And here's Levine. 16 points for him. Pirtle, the pass to Levine. Persistent Levine is inside, enduring the contact and finding his shot. Getting a nice 50% for the game. Williams passes to Clark. Rozier against Lamb. 
Takes one from 10 feet. Hurdle grabs a miss. Hurdle's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Levine. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Levine's got 20. Zach Levine is simply stated a tough cover. He's got athleticism and skill, and that combination is lethal. Out left to the wing. Here's Christopher. It's deflected. Levine finds Walker. Over Williams. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Walker's got nine. And guys, one thing that's triggered this run, their proficiency inside the three-point line. To end the run. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. They retain possession. Clark, no good. Shooting about 42% in the third. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Neely to the pass to Levine. Over Clark. No good off the front rim. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Here's Rozier. Lamb grabs the miss. Lamb's got five rebounds tonight. Outside Walker. 12 seconds left in the third quarter here. Just five on the clock. Shoots off the step back. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his third foul so far. Checking in for the away team. From deep three-point range. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. They're up by two. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. Come on, fans. It's three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Terry Rozier is out there with C.J. McCollum. Right. Then there's Torian Prince. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's Clark in at the five, roaming the paint. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Lamb. Inside, here's Walker. Denied by Tatum. Well, really improving as a defender. Jason Tatum has those long arms to redirect shots. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Here's Tatum. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Outside Lamb. Pass to Walker. Uses the glass on the layup. Walker's got four points this quarter. A tale of two halves. After a slow start, he's turning his offense around. McCullum outside. Back to Clark. We've got about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. No luck on that one. It's Lamb on the wing, hounded by Rozier. Pass to Walker. Back to Lamb. Good, and it's Walker who picks up the assist. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. To the inside, here's Clark. And he can't get that one. Hurdle with some nice D. Here's Bielitsa. 
and he drops in the layup off the glass. The elites has got his first points of the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Prince. Clark against Pirtle. Clark, the pass to McCullum. And he gets that one. And this is just typical of him. Always right making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Gafford, he's checked in for Prince. All right, let's get a report from Ali. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. He said, guys, you don't have to chuck up the first three you see. Keep your heads up. Keep looking for the best option. Let's see how they respond. Back to you guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Lamb. Outside Russell. Shot clock at six. Over Gafford. And Gafford with the block. And there's the lob. Oh, Clark with the slam. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's Russell. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Well, this is a main strength of D'Angelo Russell. When he gets room to shoot from the mid-range, there's no hesitation. McCullum, the pass to Clark. And here's Tatum. Here's the teardrop. That one drops yeah, for him. Yeah. And you want him taking good shots at this Jason point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Now here's Russell. Up and over McCollum. Again, Russell missing. Gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Gafford. Now Rozier to take the lead. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Russell. Here's Sabonis, and that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Boy, that could have been an empty possession, but Sabonis hustle on the glass, turns it into a couple of points. And that one drops for him. Clark's got six points in the quarter. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Here's Russell, and the layup is good. Russell's got 20 points. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Here's McCollum. No good there. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Here's Porter. Offensive rebound. Stolen by Rozier. Pass to Tatum. 11 feet out. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. CJ McCollum's got his fourth assist with that last one. Gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Russell to pass to Lamb. Back to Russell. Now here's Porter. Sabonis outside over Gafford. Sabonis can't hit. Lamb against Tatum. Pass to Clark. Back to Tatum. Rozier against Sabonis. McCullum outside. Up and over Russell. McCullum's shot is off. Oh, lots of drama in this game so far. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to the final buzzer. Here's Russell. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
First team Daniel Gafford picks one up. Well, this guy's a shifty player now. D'Angelo Russell adept at using various speeds to keep defenders off balance. Boy, when you think about D'Angelo Russell, he gets such incredible shot creation. This guy can attack from close or from range. He's got versatility in how he goes about producing points. First one falls, and with Russell, there is no easy answer for how to defend him, Doris. Yeah, you forget the size he brings to the guard position. Six foot four and faster than most players. Russell can do a lot of damage no matter who is checking him. Levine, he's checked in for Lamb. It's both from the stripe. Now McCullum. Outside Tatum. On the wing, Rozier. Let's a floater go. Levine with some nice D. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Porter against Bagley. Porter, the pass to Russell. Here's Sabonis. Shoots over Rozier. Sabonis can't hit. They could have used more of those kind of rebounds earlier. It's hurt their cause. Here's Gafford. Hits the jump hook. Daniel Gafford. Gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Levine passes to Sabonis. To the middle. And Sabonis slams it in. Great game for him. Double-double now. Big-time delivery from DeMontis Sabonis. Okay. Gafford with the bucket. Excellent tempo on the play. And he leads his teammate perfectly. Pass to Tucker. Levine against Rozier. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. Jason That's foul number two for him. Hurdles checked in for Demonis Sabonis. Into the for your home team, Jacob Hurdle. Home team. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. Get ready for the third squad. Player of the game, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. Levine with it. Over Rozier, shot by Levine, no good. Shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Rozier, the pass to Gafford. Two minutes Here's Tatum. Two minutes. And too long on the shot. Got an 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Outside for Russell. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Tatum. Up and over Russell. Tatum. Good. Tatum's got 11 points here in the second half. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Here's Russell. Gafford grabs the miss. Good to get a 48% clip from the floor. To take the lead. And the play by Tatum as he finishes inside. Man, you can get 
Chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. And here's Russell. Offensive rebound. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. Third personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for the home team. Jacob Pirtle. One shot. And that one misses. Three-pointer Rozier. Oh, the trifecta! Big-time shot, sending his teammates into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Russell, looking to end this cold spell. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. I tell you, you've got to try to prevent D'Angelo Russell from getting into the lane, because when he gets there, you are in trouble. the line for your home team, D'Angelo Russell. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that brings him within two here. Good on both. Well, consistency is so critical, especially in clutch moments. This guy has got that gene. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A., the clock is theirs to burn. Huge moment here. Have to stay calm in these situations. Oh, he nails it! Levine shot with time winding down. Oh, Clutch move by Levine. Get ready for the dance squad! Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Gafford passes to Rozier. Pass to Tatum. To 
three. McCullum. Off target from downtown. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. And a smart choice right there. You can't allow them to just drain the clock. Shooting for the home team. P.J. Tucker at the line for two. He gets the first, and that'll put him up two. Now, make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was a huge, huge shot. The difference between a two and a three-point lead at this stage is major. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Home team. what they have to do at this point. First personal foul. Teams in the penalty. At the line for your home team, Michael Porter. Taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. And so they get the victory here at home. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. Four